वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यशु This is the story that originated in the most ancient and still thriving civilizations on earth. There have been transformations, but the core essence of the story has remained the same. It's history and not mythology. It's the story of good over evil. It is the origin of Diwali. and who better to narrate this to you than me i, I am dying. dying i have, I have seen, seen the past i, I see the present, present and i, I will, will see the future. future long long ago in the great land of bharat that is india there lived a king who established the rule of principles values righteousness and good his name was rama he was born in the land of ayodhya into the family of the great king dashrath ayodhya a splendid city in india is famous for being a place of goodness and ruled by king dashrath he was known for his wisdom courage and caring for his people his time as king was peaceful prosperous and good for everyone in the kingdom king dashrath had three queens kausalya sumitra and kaikai ram was kausalya's son bharat was kaikai's and sumitra had twins lakshman and shatrughna sumitra chalta ram chand time these four kids grew up to become charming princes with the love and support of their parents and with the guidance of guru vishwamitra in another kingdom mithila a virtuous talented and beautiful girl sita daughter of king janak was growing up and was destined to be the better part of rama's life from childhood sita showed signs of greatness and bravery beyond comprehension king janak had in his possession an enormous bow which was gifted by the supreme lord shiva this bow was impossible to be moved or carried by janak or anybody in his kingdom but for sita sita used to string the bow effortlessly this mesmerized everybody including janak sita had proclaimed to her father anybody who could string the bow would be worthy of marrying her when it was the right time for sita's marriage janak invited all kings across the land for a swayamvar a ceremony where the bride would independently choose the groom janak expressed sita's proclamation to all the visiting guests in the ceremony this was his daughter's wish and he was obliged to fulfill welcome 
noble kings and honored guests we are delighted to have you here for my daughter sita swamvar nobody among all of you who could string this bow hey lord shiva
Ram and Sita returned back to Ayodhya after the wedding and they were received royally by King Dashrath, his queens and the entire population of Ayodhya. They were jubilant. Ram and Sita continued their happy married life in Ayodhya. When Dashrath decided to retire from his worldly duties, he chose Rama as his successor. Mantra, the evil servant of Queen Kaikai, cunningly manipulated Kaikai, planting the idea that Ram's rule threatened her own position. This devious influence led to Kaikai's unexpected demand. Queen Kaikai, what brings you here? My lord, King Dashrath, there is something of great importance that I wish to discuss with you. My dear Kaikai, you know you can share all your thoughts always with me. What bothers you? My beloved lord, you have always been true to your promises and today I would like to invoke the two promises that you made to me. Promises, my queen? I do recall. Please go on and I shall honor them. My first request, my lord, is that our son, Bharat, be declared as the future king of Ayodhya. But Kaikai, Ram is the rightful heir and he is cherished by our people. Why do you make such a plea? But my lord, Bharat is equally deserving and I believe he should govern Ayodhya. This is my first wish. Very well, Kaikai. Bharat shall be the future king of Ayodhya. It is my word. My second request, my lord, is that Ram should go into the forest for a period of 14 years in exile. Kaikai, you ask for something that grieves me deeply. Ram is my life, the jewel of Ayodhya and my beloved son. How can you make such a demand? My lord, I request you to fulfill the second part of my wish. Ram must go into exile for 14 years and Bharat should be declared as king. Very well, Queen. My word is my bond and I shall honor it. Ram will embark on a 14-year exile. This is my promise. Brother. Brother. Yes, Lakshman. Something important happened today. It's about Queen Kaikai and the two wishes she got. Wishes? What did she ask for? Brother, she wants Bharat to be the future king of Ayodhya. And you? And me? What was the other wish? The second wish, brother, is that you have to leave Ayodhya and go into an exile for 14 years. Exile? But why, Lakshman? I don't understand. It's Queen Kaikai's wish. And the king agreed to it. I see. I can't go against my father's words or break his promise. It is my duty to obey. If you are going, then I will come along with you. We'll go with you, brother, into the forest. 
where you go, we go. In the times to come, others will see this as a moment of sadness. But the way I see it is love. From a wife who prefers to be with me at all times. And from a brother who just refuses to leave me in despair. Thank you. Your strong support means the world to me. I will keep my father's promise and face this exile with courage. With your presence, we will find strength. राम गए वनवास अवध के वासी हुए उदास चौदह बरस तो बहुत दूर भाई चौदह बरस तो बहुत दूर कैसे कटा था एक एक मास बरस तो बहुत दूर भाई चौदह बरस तो बहुत दूर कैसे कटा तो एक एक मास into Ram, Lakshman and Sita being exiled into the forest. A demoness named Shurpanaka, the sister of Ravan, saw Ram and fell in love with him. Ram, you are so handsome and strong. Why do you wander in this forest? You can enjoy the luxuries of life by marrying me. I would have said yes, but I am already married to the beautiful, charming and virtuous Sita. Why don't you ask my brother Lakshman? He is also strong and handsome. Hmm, he is handsome too. Lakshman, I like you and want to marry you. Sorry. I'm not interested in marrying you. How dare you say no to me? Is this because of this lady? I will show you my powers. I will hurt her. How dare you harm Sita Devi? My nose. My nose. Lakshman cut off my nose. Shurpanaka ran to her brother, who was in Lanka, her brother, Ravan, the mighty demon king of Lanka, was extremely strong. He was a great scholar, excellent ruler and a master of art. He wanted to be immortal and asked Lord Shiva for this. Instead, he got a boon that made him enormously powerful but with a condition that only a human could defeat him. Chatatavi galat jalap pravaha pavitas tale kaleva lambya lambitam bhujanga tunga malika tavadda madda madda mannina tavadda marvayam chakara chanda tandavam tanotuna shiva shiva
जटाभुजंग पिंगल स्फुरत्फणामणि प्रभाक दंब कुंकु मद्रव प्रलित्त दिग्व धूमुखे मदांद सिंधुर स्फुरत्व गुत्तरी यमे दुरे मनोवी नोद मद्भुतंबि भर्तु भूत भर्तरी पंकज प्रपंच कालिम प्रभावलंबी कंठ कंदली रुचि प्रबद्ध कंधरं स्मरच्छिदं पुरच्छिदं भवच्छिदं मखच्छिदं गजच्छिदं धकच्छिदं तमंतकच्छिदं भये अखर्व सर्व मंगला कला कदंब मंजरी रस प्रवाह माधुरी विजृंभणा मधुव्रत स्मरातक पुरातक भवातक मखातक गजातकांधकांतक तमंतकांतक भजे Brother! Brother! What happened, Shurpanaka? Who hurt you? Ram and his brother Lakshman. You mean that prince from Ayodhya? He is the one who attacked you? Yes, brother. They attacked me. And that Sita. I wish I could ruin her beauty. Is she really that beautiful? She is the most beautiful woman on earth. She deserves someone as handsome as you. <laughs> Don't worry sister, I will avenge you by abducting Sita. Ravan calls Marich, a trusted demon in his court for the abduction of Sita. Marich chalks out a plan. Marich plans to take the form of a tempting golden deer, diverting Rama and Lakshman away from Sita into the forest and meanwhile Ravan would abduct Sita. Prabhu, Prabhu, look at that amazing golden deer. It is the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. You are right, Sita. It is a truly exceptional sight. Golden deer like this are very rare. Prabhu, can you catch it for me? It would be a perfect gift. Okay, Sita. I will go after it and catch it for you. Lakshman, stay here and watch over Sita. I will be back soon. Brother, please think about this. It seems risky. I will go, Lakshman. Please take care of Sita. 
Ram now goes in search of the golden deer. When Ram tries to hunt the deer, he realizes that it is a demon disguised as a deer. In its dying moments, the deer shouts in Ram's voice. Hey Lakshman! Hey Sita! Lakshman, I believe your brother is in real trouble. Please go and help him right away. Of course, Devi. I will go. Devi, please promise not to cross this line under any circumstances. I promise, Lakshman. Ravan enters the forest in the form of a saint to abduct Sita. Bhagavati Bhishande Bhagavati Bhishande Sita gets some food for Ravana disguised as a saint. Meanwhile, Ravana realizes that he is not able to cross the Lakshman Rekha. O oh, noble lady, come out of this line and offer food. No, I cannot come out. Are you trying to disgrace me? Come out and offer the food or else I cannot accept it. Sita, not wanting to disgrace the saint, comes out to offer the food. But as she comes out, Ravan reveals himself and abducts her and takes her to Lanka. As Ravana abducts Sita, Sita cries for help. High above, a noble vulture and an old friend of King Dashra, Jatayu, was determined to protect Sita. A fierce battle unfolded, but Ravana's might prevailed. In the midst of the battle, Ravana cut off Jatayu's wings, leaving the vulture wounded. As Ravana disappeared into the distance with Sita, Jatayu lay on the forest floors, wings torn, but his spirit unbroken. Ram along with Lakshman returned to the hut. On seeing Sita not in the hut, they try to find her everywhere in the forest. Jatayu informs Ram that Ravan has abducted Sita to Lanka. With this information, Ram and Lakshman continue their search. search for Sita, Lord Ram and Lakshman journeyed through the forest and arrived at a peaceful grove. Sabri, a humble devotee of Ram, was waiting for them.
she ultimately tells Ram that the Vanara king Sukriv is the one who will help Ram. Lakshman, it's time to begin our quest to find Sita. We must search every corner of this vast forest. I'm with you, brother. But we need allies to face Ravana's formidable power. We should seek help from the Vanaras, the noble monkey warriors. Did you hear that, Lakshman? Yes, brother. Someone is coming. Pranam, I have not seen you here before. May I know who you are? Hanuman. Lord, Lord Ramachandra. Ram explains to Hanuman Sita's abduction by the demon Ravan to Lanka. My Lord, allow me to take you to my king, Sugriv. He has suffered a similar tragedy, forcibly driven out from his own kingdom and his wife, Ruma, held captive in the palace. Who could commit such a terrible crime? Sugriv's own brother, Vali. What? Vali is incredibly strong and has a boon from Lord Brahma. It allows him to gain half his opponent's strength during a fight making it impossible to defeat him. My lord, allow me to take you to my king. Hanuman carries the brothers on his shoulders and flies to the mountain top, showcasing his extraordinary powers. Greetings. Great son of Queen Kausalya and greetings to the noble son of Queen Sumitra. Greetings to the wiser son of Queen Aruni. I can fully comprehend the pain and anger you feel. My beloved wife Sita has been kidnapped by the king of Lanka and I have come here seeking your help. I want to assist you, my lord, but... My friend, the crimes committed by Vali cannot be forgiven. He deserves to face justice. My lord, but his boon? I promise you, my friend, you will regain your kingdom and your wife and that tyrant Vali will be defeated before sun sets. Thank you, Lord Ram. Now I will start the mission to find Sita and bring her back to you. Hanuman, you are the fastest among all of us. Please immediately leave towards Lanka and bring us news of Sita's whereabouts and well-being. 
थैंक यू माई फ्रेंड हनुमान यू आर ब्रेव इन लॉयल आई एम इंटरेस्टिंग यू विद अ मिशन ऑफ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस यू मस्ट गो टू लंका एंड फाइंड सीता लॉर्ड राम आई वॉज बॉर्न ओनली टू सर्व यू आई अश्योर यू लॉर्ड दैट आई विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड मदर सीता हनुमान टेक दिस सिग्नेट रिंग इट बेज माई नीम एंड विल अश्योर सीता ऑफ योर ऑथेंटिसिटी लेट हर नो दैट आई एम कमिंग टू रेस्क्यू हर Sita the virtuous and determined wife of Lord Ram was kept captive in the Ashoka grove of Lanka despite the luxuries surrounding her she longed for her husband's return My dear Sita your beauty matches your courage why do you remain loyal to a mere mortal lord rama is not just a mortal he is an incarnation of lord vishnu his love and righteousness are my strength you are mistaken sita i am the most powerful ruler of all the three worlds I can offer you unimaginable pleasures. Your wealth and power means nothing to me. Sita, I've given you time. But your resolve is unshaken. It's time for you to become my queen. I will never marry you. My soul belongs to Lord Rama, my Prabhu. Shri Ram will definitely come to save me and that will be the end of you. <laughs> Do you think he can defeat me, the king of Lanka? You are unaware of my powers. <laughs> He might not even have a clue about where you are living. <laughs> When Ravan was boasting about his powers to Sita, Hanuman was watching it silently. After Ravan leaves, Hanuman meets Sita. Mother Sita, I am Hanuman, a humble devotee of Lord Ram. I have come here to save you. Ravan, you can take any form you want. I will not believe you. Mother Sita, I am not Ravan. I am Hanuman. Go away and leave me alone. Mata, I have come here as Lord Ram's messenger. Let me show you the ring. that he has sent along with me Hanuman you are indeed Prabhu Ram messenger i was waiting for this day Mata Sita i can carry you on my shoulders and fly you to Lord Ram now please allow me No, no Hanuman. Hanuman i want Prabhu Ram to come and save me by destroying the demon Ravan Mother Sita I will inform this to Lord Ram Hanuman give this to Prabhu Ram as a sign of recognition Thus taking leave of Sita Hanuman wanted permission of her to eat some fruits from the trees around as he was hungry Sita permitted Hanuman Hanuman wanted to access the character strength and weakness of ram's opponent which would be useful for them to plan their strategy to defeat ravan hence he decides to wreak havoc on the gardens of ravan's kingdom he was 
arrested by Ravan's soldiers and that gave him an opportunity to know about Ravan. Hanuman being the mighty one unshackled himself easily. He left Lanka to tell Ram about the whereabouts of Sita. Lord, I have met Sita Mata and she is waiting for you in Lanka. She has sent this. Hanuman, you have indeed brought great news. Let us get ready for the war and rescue Sita. Ram and Lakshman along with Hanuman and Sukhreev chalk out their plan to rescue Sita. They prepare for the war with the army of the Vanaras, the massive army marches towards Lanka. With the vast ocean before them, Lord Ram, accompanied by his loyal brother Lakshman and devoted Hanuman, understood the daunting task of crossing the ocean lay ahead. Under the leadership of Nala, the Vanara tirelessly constructed the Ram Setu, a bridge defying the laws of nature, symbolizing their unwavering commitment to Lord Ram and their mission. When Mandodari, wife of Ravan, gets to see the real losses of lives of others and her family men due to the war between Ram and Ravan, she tries to explain Ravan and tries to stop the war. Swami, I beg of you, this is the last opportunity to make amends. Lord Rama is no ordinary person. Our action has already cost us the life of a son and your brother. I cannot bear to lose you too. Please reconsider and return Sita to Rama. I understand the consequences, but I cannot let this injustice go unanswered. I am the king of Lanka and I am determined to avenge the wrong that has been done to me. Don't try to stop me. The war begins. Ram decides that it was time that he took on the mighty Ravan in battle. Both the warriors were evenly matched and both had access to secret powerful weapons.
monster seemed indestructible. When Ravan was not dying from any weapon carried by Ram, Ravana's brother Vibhishan told Ram that Ravan could only be killed when a Brahmastra, a weapon, hits his navel. Ram kills Ravan with the Brahmastra. After killing Ravana, Ram takes Sita back to Ayodhya. The entire kingdom is jubilant at the return of their true queen and king. They light up lamps in their houses and streets to welcome Ram, Sita and Lakshman. This is the birth of the festival of lights, Diwali. Jai Siyara. अजर बिहारी So, uh, the entire uh, stage play was uh, directed, uh, audio recorded, edited by me. Uh, and I had Nikita as the assistant director. And we had Jyoti as the administrator. What I'll do now is I will pass on the mic to everybody so that we can take the lead and the character that we play. Thank you everyone, uh, I'm Samuel. Baby, shut up. We love 
Uh, so, and then there is baby Ram also, who is there. This is baby Ram and there is baby Lakshman. Hello everyone, uh, I am Sunali and I am Thank you so much. Guys, we would like to pick 